Hey everybody, welcome to Warfront Turning Point, an alternate history RTS game. Now, this is essentially kind of a what-if scenario of if Germany, the United States, and the UK, and the Soviet Union were able to get their hands on experimental technology, and well, this is basically the result. So you're seeing sonic weaponry, um, mech suits, all that good shit. Germany has the most memes, but the other two are not without their fair share of stupidity. You got a good amount of maps to choose from. In fact, they go all the way to 5v5, which is... I don't really actually see this a lot. 10, like, 10 player matches. Really, um... What I most want to see in a lot of RTS games is probably 10v10. That, that gets extremely savage. Anyway, so we'll pick this map for now. You could change up the, um, army limit. You could change up the time as well. So we'll just pick sunny. You can push, pick the rush time. I'll just pick, uh, noon for now here. Starting resources, starting positions... Got a couple modes to actually choose from. We're going to just pick Rack and Rune because if we pick any other mode, it's going to take way too long. And let me force a faction. Yeah, the UK. There we go. UK and US Alliance. Whatever. You can pick the game type as well. So you can pick Deathmatch and yada, yada, yada. All right, let's start this up. Got a good looking guy over there. Probably German because of the blonde hair and uh, blue eyes. I don't even know. You need something built? Alright, so this shouldn't come as a surprise, but this game's um, UI kind of resembles a lot of Command & Conquer General Zero Hours, so do keep that in mind. The only resource you have to worry about is just um, mines or resources or whatever. And essentially what you do is you take your resource collector, you put it in the mine, and then the resource collector will deliver the resources to and fro from the supply depot. Ring, ring any bales? It should ring some bells. You can also go into the chase cam view right here just for shits and giggles if you want. Doing my best. Fairly cool mode. I'm trying to move around the camera, but oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Go ahead and put these guys in. Power up plan to power up your stuff. I think Germany only has to worry about that, but I could be wrong if the other races has to do as well. So you got yourself money, you got yourself energy production, and then finally army limit. It's obviously at 250, so you're going to get a lot of autism in this one particular game. Building completed. For a long time, I thought like this was a... Um, like, I'm not going to be surprised if this was actually just a revamp of the General Zero Hour engine or just using a lot of its assets. But I know a lot of games, like, they, um, they share engines and stuff. Like, I know the, uh, Quake 3 engine was heavily modified for Modern Warfare, like, 2 or something, so it's not unheard of. Though, exactly copying the UI style, kind of weird, but there are other games that have done it as well. I know a lot of people copy, like, StarCraft 2's UI, so there is that. Anyway, you got their basic Wehrmacht infantry, you know, you got yourself the Panzerfaust, then you got jetpack infantry and exoskeletons. Can't do chase cam with the infantry, Red which is unfortunate. Ready, you can also upgrade for capture building. Commander. Moving there out. are a couple buildings that we want to capture, probably like... Actually, I don't even know what to capture. Like, what do we, we capture? He's trying to shoot at me. Right Seems like an MG infantry guy. You're just gonna ping, 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 and then he should die. Yep, there we go. What do you want dead? Here's the real, um, like, the heavy hitters. So, you know, now we have the Panther over here. This is your light tank. I don't actually think this was a light tank in the war, but in, like, this, like, game's universe, I guess it's counted as a light tank because it's a fucking pussy and shit. Don't worry, you'll get a good amount of memes later on. Go ahead and get out um construction vehicle, yeah. Probably. Let's get out the engineer. Faust here. This thing is heavy, you know. Why does he sound like the retarded kid from Mice and Men? Pretty basic stuff. It's like a really standard RTS game really through and through. I think it's really carried on by its um, its aesthetic and its setting. Even though the, the, the aesthetic isn't really much, it's more of a case of there just isn't a lot of like alternate history World War II games in an RTS format. Granted, I guess the greatest one is like Red Alert 2, but that's like really its own thing, really, not really alternate history. 
Like in the sense of like World War Two. What the fuck's going on here? Alright, so let me go ahead and get a supply depot because I want to claim some supply here. What the fuck is this game's deal? If I have to yell over the audio, it's already a bad sign. Alright. Building completed. Low power. We got low power, so now everything's powered down. Really just standard stuff, like there's not a lot of um, new mechanics to really talk about. Though there is a good amount of content, I will say that. Like, all the different maps are pretty, like, meme actually. I, I gotta say. It didn't need that many maps, but it does. And for, like, a game that's essentially, like, a clone of another game, I gotta... I'm impressed by that. Aircraft are kind of, like, they have their own menu and then they're dropped down. It's fairly interesting. Remember that the Panther is a light tank. Building completed. We also got an arty unit that we can build up. There are also hero units to play around with. So if you like MOBAs, then there you go. Let me go ahead and get like an anti-tank gun really quick. Here, here, here. Watch this. You also make orders while you move while you use the sky. Yes, I do like the physics in this game, but then it reminds me of the um, wacky physics in General Zero Hour as well. Building completed. Oh, can you not like you know grab these resources with the Opal Blitz? Oh. That's quite homosexual. So you are supposed to capture these. All right, I'm retarded. My bad. My bad, fam. Here, now we can tech up to the next tier. And we'll continue moving forward some guys here. Let's get this guy out of his, like, I don't know, thing. Call in a Junkers Bomber if I wanted to. Let's not put the arty unit in the front. That's a good idea. I don't know. I'm not a military strategist, but I don't think it's a good idea. Research complete. Okay, we can get a combat academy. This will actually provide ex extra XP for units in range. So I can just put it right here and then like all my units over there will just get extra range. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any other place to like grab. Quite unfortunate. Let's get an AA bunker. I also should really get out a repair truck. Alright, now we see the hero unit. He has a pistol. He's probably going to kill the tank. He just killed the tank, actually. He sounds like that retarded dude in Battalion Wars, honestly. The voice actor for the Wehrmacht uh, Panzerfaust. Here we can get the anti-infantry flame, uh, flame bunker over here. Pretty good stuff. Hero's gonna die because he has a pistol, so I mean, like, come on now. Ready, commander. Orders, commander. Ready, commander. Building completed. Cap some of these buildings. Orders, commander. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. We can also go ahead and just, like, do this shit. It's really hard to actually find a legal copy of this game. Like, I know I said in the past, like, Battle for Middle Earth 2 is the hardest game to find uh, legally. But no, no, no. There, I have found, like, even worse examples. This one being, like, a prime candidate. God, that noise is actually extremely irritating. Why would anybody want to listen to this? Building captured. Building completed. Building captured. Got lightning over there. 
But just because like something is um I guess not really iterating and creating like you know new ideas and stuff for RTS games doesn't mean it's bad. There are quite a lot of like things that I enjoy in life that are just like they're not necessarily advancements in genres and stuff, but rather they're just um solid entries into the genre, you know? Like, I thought, like, um, as an example, I thought the Babadook doesn't change how we view horror, but I do enjoy the Babadook for what it is, you know? I think that's the important thing to take out of, like, from games like this that don't really try that much. Or maybe they do, but, like, um, due to a variety of factors, there isn't really, um, a need to, um, Improving stuff. By the way, I'm getting my ass kicked. But I do like this whole setting. I like, you know, alternate history. It's one of my favorite, like, um, types of genres. And... I fucking love- well, actually, no, I like all types of genres, but, um, it's like, it's like something that I, I pleasantly enjoy. I really like people's interpretations on what would happen if the Nazis got, like, mech suits, I don't know. Wolf Inside the New Order was fucking fantastic, and I just love every second of it. Especially how dark it was, it took itself very seriously. And it worked out. So right now I haven't really shown off anything too crazy, which is quite unfortunate. I feel like I'm kind of um disappointing you guys. Like, what is this game? This isn't really a Mimi game. Time to build exoskeletons. Right now though, it's getting really hard to actually like fight these guys. All right, here's the exoskeleton. Look at it go. Look at this thing. This is one of the things I really don't like about this game. This exoskeleton design is ugly. It's really bad. Like, look at it. What the hell were they thinking? It's like the T model in, like, Men of War Assault Squad. That's all it is. It's it's just horrid. I am really getting my ass kicked. Wow. Let's right now deal with the infantry issue, and then I can deal with everything else. AI is sufficiently difficult, I'll say that much. Oh, come the fuck on. These aircraft units are hard. Also, getting like more RTS games that are in the World War II setting is really nice. The more the merrier, and as long as like one company doesn't have a monopoly on World War II, I just love that. As you can see, you're seeing some Kalapi um, Shermans. And here I could show off my exoskeletons being gay. I I really just don't like this design though. It is just horrid.
You know, the story for this game is kind of interesting. It's essentially a what-if scenario of what if they just kill Hitler early and then like someone more competent comes along. Here, we'll call him the Horden Bomber. The place should be like right here. Building completed. Beyond our tech, Hero has arrived. I will pull the team and the gate! Here we go, look at that thing. Look at how big that thing is. It's essentially the, um... I don't know, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um... The big fighter that they, um... That Captain America and the Red Skull fight, uh, fight on and shit. Ooh, nice. Your buildings are under attack. Building completed. It's gonna upgrade Form some up stuff here up. and there. Exoskeleton reporting in. War machines here. As you wish, Commander. At your service. Can I, I don't know, know what the fuck's happening here, but alright. Oh, they're repairing it by flinging stuff at it. Gotcha. Also building some rockets, which is pretty good. Also gonna increase the damage on certain weapons. Just some simple stat upgrades, you know, and that sort of shit. Ready for action! Are you ready for a war? Form up and follow. Aircraft is, are always accurate, however, so you may get a little bit pissed off by, um, I don't know, the uh, fact that the aircraft are extremely powerful. Let me call down an airstrike really fast. Your orders, Commander. Ready, Commander. Rifleman here. Oh my god, shoot it down! Hero promoted. I reign where I fight. My time is up. Ah! Nothing a little painful, thanks. I just smash that shit. I just don't know where that's coming from, personally, so I can't really, like, act upon it. Anyway, let's get some bigger stuff. Got some anti-aircraft units that we can get access to, but let me go ahead and just get out a second tank factory. Get some mouses currently. Big guy here. Watch out, you fool. Yes, Commander. 
And then the super aircraft, anti-aircraft missiles come out. Meme it up. Once we got out the Hummel over here. I want to get some more meme stuff. I want to show you guys like really what this mod is all about, but unfortunately, oh, now I can get it. You know what? Never mind. Your buildings are under attack. It's pretty low-key in the alt history, I gotta say. Like, it doesn't go Wolfenstein the in the new order. I really do not like that fucking... Oh, here we got some helicopters. Like you really starve in this um one particular level. I'm not even getting it. Oh, I see, cause it's queued up, but it's not built yet because we don't have the resources. Gotcha, dude. I want to waste resources, but at the same time, I really don't. Really, there's no incentive to like micro these guys right now. They're pretty, they're extremely accurate. Okay, it's being built. I don't know why. I just can't get. A oh, there's the resource. There we go. What do you need? Driving. I just realized the uh, resources are marked by the um, shovel or whatever. Here we're seeing like um, a force shield. But now we got the giant zeppelin, so we're good. Yeah, it looked way bigger um, beforehand. Now it kind of looks eh. Don't get that fool. Uh, don't don't get that um, memed about. You know. This, Shre this thing is Shrek incarnate. Uh, right now, this giant zeppelin, however, is dying. Oh my god, come on now. <laughs> As cheery as I am, I can't even stop and get miffed up about that. Wait, 
The AI already has Ride turrets me. here, down here. Interesting. So yeah, in summary, I don't necessarily think of this as like... I think of this as like a fun little game to play to pass the time and stuff. I definitely think like... It, if you want like as much as you can out of this, it, you're probably going to be like a fan of like alt history. Oh, I didn't even launch the V1. It's pretty disappointing actually, all things considered, but I'll launch it anyway. Here, it's a, a big missile and it, um, it goes boom. For some reason, it hasn't fired yet. Oh, there we go. There it is. The Sonic Disruptor was able to soak it up. Why? I don't know. I gotta admit, this AI, like, double-decker asshole, like, rammed me. What else haven't I shown, actually? I mean, that's pretty much it, actually, when it comes down to, um the game itself let me check it out the v1 rocket and then afterwards you got those units you could upgrade your units thing but i don't know yeah for some reason the giant zeppelin tends to be extremely weak i don't know how he was able to get this area actually that's like kind of confuses me but that's kind of like the ultra unit of the um, the Germans, essentially. Yeah, this thing is super dead. I wouldn't say that this is a realistic look at like what World War II would be like. But it'd be a fun little universe to play around with. Anyway, so that would be a Warfront Turning Point. We took a look at Germany. Now we'll take a look at the Soviets, UK, and the US. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.